What's going on guys, I'm Freddy 20 here with another Throwback Thursday Diecast review. And uh, today is on the 2003 Kevin Harvick Indianapolis race version, also known as the Burnout Car. So, here's a look at the box. Uh, this is actually the sleeve right here. Pretty cool box. Like I said, I always loved when the, back when they used to have just like the specialized, uh, well this one, this one just has a sleeve. Uh, a little bit later down the road they just they they said the hell with the sleeves and they just started with the boxes but uh, either way I wish we could get back to uh, just the customized kind of boxes for the race versions but uh, but there's a look at the uh, the production number there total production of 8,352 I believe there's another version of them made I can't remember what it was called it was um, it was something it was like a dealer's version but um, but yeah total production of 8,000 some so uh, so there is that. There's nothing really to the box other than just the regular 2003 box. But uh, onto the car. So go ahead and start from the front. And of course, first off, this paint scheme is just awesome. The body is awesome. Uh, I mean, this car is just really, really cool looking. But we'll get to the rest of it here in a second. So, I'll we'll start from the front. Oh, by the way, I got this one off of eBay. It took me forever to get one, but I finally got one uh, for 20, 25 bucks, I believe, off of eBay. So, um, so there it is. Got, uh, of course, GM good wrench. Got the Chevrolet nose. Got a bit of rubber buildup and, and whatever on the nose. You got the windshield there. Go ahead and lift up the hood. So there you go. You got the engine in there. And uh, underneath the hood, GM good wrench. My cat playing with her uh, little mouse ball thing. If you hear any noises, that's what that is. But uh, going down the left side. Yeah, not a not a very very raced race version. You got uh, Goodyear, yeah, the Goodyears there down the side. Even still, like this is this is a badass paint scheme. One of my favorites. Uh, look, I, I think it just looks even cooler on this body style. So uh, there it is on the top. Kevin Harvick 29. And we'll go to the back. So you got GoodWrench.com. GM Performance Parts, uh, no no DIN number, DIN number didn't start till 2006 I want to say. Got the fuel cell in the back. So, if you're not familiar why, uh, with this car, why is it worth picking up? Boom! This is why uh, why it's kind of known as the, the burnout car. So here it is, we got damage, we got everything. Um, in my opinion, this is like one of the top 10 race versions of all time, just because of this side right here. And it was done perfectly. So, down the right side, there you go. There's a good look at it. The tire is, is broken and chewed up and coming apart. Uh, you can see the damage there on the right rear. And, of course, all the, the rubber buildup and the half donut there on the door, and that's really about it. Other than that, the the car is um, not really too much else on the car, really. Uh, and of course, you go to the bottom of it. The even cooler part is just the bottom of the car and all the detail they put into that, just with all the rubber buildup on the bottom, all the way down here to the bottom of the fuel cell. Like that is just damn cool, in my opinion. And it sucks because there's a lot of years uh, once kind of like Lionel got involved with. Um, with making the die cast and this and that and people were asking for damage on some of the race versions like oh well, we can't we can't really do it well they did it in 2003 but um, but now they're starting to get damage back to the cars which is very cool to see so um, so yeah this was such a cool such a cool race version if you have if you do not have one I highly suggest you pick one up it seems like the value of this car has gone down a little bit but uh, uh, there's definitely been a lot of them floating around on eBay, so if you have what, yet to pick one up, I highly recommend you pick one up, because it is badass. Well, there's another look at it. So there you have it. We'll go, we'll go across the car one more time. Oh man, it's such a cool car. I can't believe it took me so long to pick this car up, but uh, like I said, finally got one off of eBay. Such a damn cool car. <laughs> There it is. Uh, I got a couple new pickups in today. Uh, three new race versions from uh, 2016. So uh, check them, check them out on my Instagram page down below in the description if you'd uh, if you'd like to see some of that stuff. Uh, like I said, I always post all my new diecast pickups on my Instagram page. So if you yet, have yet to follow me or check it out, you can do so down below. That about do it, guys. So make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and uh, see you guys in the next video.